Alright, let's go get things. Do some last minute stuff. It's departure day and uh, getting a 30,000 pound motorhome ready to go on the road is pretty oh, serious yeah. business. Charging on, on, full power, 12 and a half volts. Every system I can think of gets checked and double checked before we leave. Uh, I run checklists so things don't happen when I get on the road. Yes, this is my vacation and I want to get to my vacation destination without any breakdowns or mishaps. So I'm happy when I get there. No, they're rolling. Okay, let's see. Headlights. The headlights work. Okay, good. Uh, left turn signal. A-OK. Okay. Good. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Right one. Yes, it's going. Yep, it's going. Roll forward a little bit, Bob, and make brakes are good. Perfect, okay, stop. Whoa, okay, good. So going to Quartzsite, Arizona, this is a 600 mile journey. And we'll be driving most of the length of California through some of the most uh, desolate lands I have ever seen. I mean, we are talking hundreds and hundreds of miles of either farmland or desert or nothing. Filming? Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Running down the road here. Uh, with the open spot three. This thing is performing flawlessly. I've got it hooked up to my uh, my little FMCA Sprint hotspot. Running off the FTM 400 here. I am uh, got APRS on one side and, uh, and my uh, local repeater back home in Auburn on the other side. I think we need a little bit more speed going over this. Um, pea soup, man. It is horrible, horrible conditions. But uh, there's Dr. Ballin. And uh, let's see, I've got uh, Burton N6UG. He's 50 miles behind me. I was just talking to him. South, K6SAL, 60 miles ahead of me. Also talking to him. We got Dennis is uh, tracking all of us on APRS, which is kind of cool. And he's kind of being the traffic cop. But anyway, so far, open spot two, performing flawlessly here in the motorhome. There's <laughs> my light bar. <laughs> what happened? Where's my light bar? <laughs> my light bar is gone. So after the light bar incident, we still had about 150 miles to go for the day, uh, pulling up through the Tehachapi's. So my pal Sal uh, suggested this little gem of a uh, 
RV resort <laughs> for us to bed down for the night. <sighs> Nope, you guys got any puppy dogs or anything nope, like that? Nope, just uh, just, just, uh, just us. <laughs> <laughs> just Bob. <laughs> okay. He's party, oh, he's yeah, party yeah, trained. You know, I got one in the car waiting for me. Okay. Yeah, it's really good Mexican food. Has that been there a long time? Yeah. Because I used to, uh, I owned a contracting business and I, I ate there with my crew a couple oh. times. We were working over on Quartz Mountain. Oh yeah. Victorville. Quartz, yeah. Yeah, over in Victorville and we come over here to Boron and and uh, anyways we went to a Mexican restaurant. It seemed like it was on a little street. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's been only one down here. Ago. It was closed for a while, but now it's open. It, it was like family months. owned back then. Yeah. Yeah. It? yeah. It was really There's good. like a market and then he's on the um, east side of it. It was an additional half day journey into Arizona and then into the Quartzsite area. Roadrunner Campground is an additional five miles outside of town. Entering the Quartzsite area along I-10 is very, very cool. A few miles from town, the landscape begins to get dotted with RVs, and it just grows as you get closer and closer to the 17 exit. As you exit off of I-10 onto the frontage road, the enormity begins to hit you. It is a sea of RVs everywhere. Quartzsite, uh, which is normally a sleepy little town on the border of Arizona, becomes this mecca of pop-up shops, swap meets, tent sales, all kinds of stuff. Anything that, uh, that the traveler wants to buy. As you turn on to I-95 and cross back over the overpass on I-10, the enormity of the whole quartzite experience begins to set in as you see that big white tent that is like two city blocks long uh, kind of emerge in your view. Driving through Quartzsite, Arizona during the middle of January doesn't begin to show the enormity, the ocean of RV lifestyle that this place has to offer. Whether you're a weekend warrior, a full-timer, you're into rock hunting, four-wheel drives, uh, you're into the whole Quartz Fest thing, this place is just insane. As we begin our final five miles uh, going back out of town, you can see how it is just dotted again with RVs all the way out to five miles and more. The Roadrunner BLM area, or Quartzfest for lack of a better term, uh, is like entering a whole new ham radio city. And here we are, uh, first arriving on Sunday, along with Sal. Join me next time when I see old friends, meet new friends, get funky with science. Yeah. Potassium permanganate and um, glycerin. So I guess we'll check out some of the more unusual RVs at Quartz Fest and we'll visit the big tent and all the happenings in Quartzsite next time on K6 UDA Radio.